Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is going to be a look at Tormentor, the newest extra class to add it into the game. Now, the way I used to do these type of videos, uh, normally I would just go and take the class, a certain team comp, generally something optimal, and a pretty decent pool and run into whatever magnitude boss there was, I felt like doing. Um, for this video, I'll be changing it up where I will be actually showcasing all the skills and everything I can in the trial. Do tell me how you guys feel about this. Um, do you prefer it? Do you not like it? Do you just prefer me to beat up on the boss and just explode it? Um, just tell me how you guys feel about it. But for this video, I'm going with this route as I feel it's the best way to really showcase this class. With that, let's get into the video. Now, we're going to be going here to trial battles and of course not. Well, that's the thing. Cause I, I don't know how to click properly. So I'm gonna trial battle here. So one thing I will mention is that I did end up making double finger, which is the class weapon and I ended up making it water. So that's one thing we also have to take note of. So we'll be taking it on the fire boss. I'm actually playing Dragalia right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hear it, but I'm actually playing Dragalia. Okay. So now with this class is pretty cool. Uh, one thing I have to mention at the very beginning, the outfit's a downgrade. I don't care what you say. Assassin, Assassin had the better outfit, man. This is a downgrade. Why we get a We got this old, tr I, won't, I won't say it, but we got this old looking, I don't like it. I want the cute outfit back. So you know I'm changing this outfit A-S-A-P. Now, um, with this class, that's a pretty cool. It doesn't really change much from the formula, but it gives you more options what you can deal with. So first thing we'll be looking at is Recursive Nightmare. Now this skill is only able to be used at level 10 execution. If you didn't know, you gain execution by either using a secret gear. So for example, we use this gear right here, we'll gain one. Or if you have the class weapon, you can gain it by Ogying as well, which is pretty cool. You also gain a one turn skill cut, but generally that's not too important on the class weapon, but it's something I should keep mention of. Ask himself the Ogi. I'm pretty sure somebody want to see it. Here, let's do it. So this is the Ogi with that little finger. It's, it's okay. Uh, I thought my first time actually watching it, to be honest. It was, it, it was, eh, it was okay. But let me get to level 10 and I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. Yeah, getting to level 10 does take quite a while, so that's something you do have to keep note of. The fact that I just cut it, just gives you more reason to understand that. Getting to level 10, it's not that easy. It does take time. So using her uh, recursive nightmare is not gonna be really something you use in most fights. But if you are able to get level 10, you do gain the option of restoring all your gear. So we're gonna use a gear here. You can keep track of the count right here. So I have 10, 10, and four. We'll use a gear right now. Now we use recursive nightmare. I can't look at the gear right now, so we have to take one turn. And when we take the turn, we look back here, everything goes right back up. So it's really good. One thing I will mention, it doesn't refill it all the way, unfortunately. I would have liked it to refill all the way, but it does restore by one. So that's. It depends. Personally, I don't think it's that great of a skill. It's probably not something you're actually gonna end up getting off most of the time because it's 10 execution levels, it's really high. <laughs> I mean, you have to be soloing a boss at that point. Not many raids last that long. Um, it's very click heavy as well if you're doing it without the class weapon, because then you have to do, it takes 10 turns without the class weapon, five turns with the class weapon, if you're optimal, for example, if you're using like the Ogi boost right here, it, this one gives you technically two, because you gain one from that, and then you gain one from Ogi Ink with the class weapon. So you can kind of stack it five turns if you want to go that route, but that's very click heavy, and I don't know if that's the best way of doing it. Personally, it's not that great looking at the class. Uh, I don't think this is some skill you would be using a lot, but maybe I'm wrong and somebody can find some crazy tech where it's like extremely good. Just me looking at it right now, I don't feel it's that great. 
The next skill we'll be looking at is Barbed Wire, which is over here. Now, you, you gain a debuff upon using Bob Wire, which is pretty cool. We'll click on the debuff here. Pillory. I think that, I think I said right. Pillory. All right. Um, so at the end of each turn, take, I think it takes about 20k at the end of each turn, and attacks are restricted by chance. Kind of similar to, um, there's another skill like that. I forgot the skill, but it had the chance of this completely not attacking at all. That also applies to triggers, I believe. So it's cool. Um, we're not gonna really see it in action here on the trial bot because this trial bot does not attack you. Actually, it was 30k, right? Or 300k? Let me check. Uh, yeah, 300k. So I guess it scales based on HP of the enemy. So uh, it's okay. Uh, I, I really don't really gain a lot out of this. It's RNG if you get hit or not. I wouldn't rely on it, but it's not something that's like awful. Like it's there, it's a quality of life thing where if it procs, cool. If it doesn't proc, well, you never relied on it in the first place, right? It's, that's the way I look at this skill, barbed wire. And we're going on to the next skill, which I have to be right back. And we are back, so. I decided to bring Bea as a way to showcase Devotion, which is the next skill we'll be looking at. Now, this skill gives you the hostility up and a boost to defense to based on the execution level, meaning at level 10, you get the highest defense boost. It does not increase the hostility though. I'm, I may be wrong on that, but I do believe it does not increase the hostility. Also, I, I changed the boss to one that we can get attacked with to see how the uh, to see how barbed wire works. Will Bea die? Find out next time on Dragon Ball. Let's let's see. Ah, Bea! Oh, oh no, Bea! Let's try that again. <laughs> Is this bullying? Oh, she dodged. What? No! He's about to he's about to take damage. No dodging. No. Wait, what? Oh, it's only two turns. I thought it was longer than two turns. Oh, well, I guess it, oh, it's one turn. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Re <laughs> um, it's okay. It may be a viable option for people who don't want to use monkey skill too. Um, that's like the most viable way I, I think about using this. Is like if you want to use monkey skill two to get aggro on her ogi instead of using her skill two. You want to use devotion, right? You have that option. Uh, I can't really think of other options like oh, Colossus, right? Colossus skill too, right? You can use it on that as well, I guess. So he can finally get that hostility up he's been looking for. <laughs> Colossus, dude. That character is so questionable. I don't like him that much. <laughs> um, next thing we're going to be looking at is Devil's Finger. So Devil's Finger, as I mentioned, you do gain a one turn skill cut and a boost to execution level upon Ogying, which is pretty okay, I guess. It's not that great of an Ogi. It's not something like I would be like, oh man, you should really build this class weapon just for the Ogi effect. It's not that great, to be honest. It helps, right, to get the execution rate up, um, execution level up, but uh, it's not like, oh man, groundbreaking or anything. The first skill on top of it, you get an increase to S gear by one. So at the start of every quest, you have a limit. So we can look over here. The limit regularly on the Assassin's Blade is actually 10, but thanks to the class weapon, we get 11. This is not that great on weapons with really high amounts like this one right here, which has 10, uh, the Smoke Bomb, which has 10. But as you get things with lower amounts where they have one and two, it's more valuable. But that's really niche, right? That's not something that really is going to be commonly used. So it's okay, but it's not like a uh, groundbreaking or anything. Now we have to talk about the sub skills, which is probably things that people really worried about or want to talk about. So first we have humanity. Now this one is actually pretty cool. It raises a level if you take no damage at the end of the turn. So if you took no damage at the end of the turn, you gain one execution level. I do not have this on my weapon right now, unfortunately, so I cannot show it to you, but I can tell you what it does. Um, we also have Divinity, which gives stackable attack and defense down upon using an S gear. Now this is okay. I don't believe it's nearly as good as raising a level though. 
it depends on the element you're playing. If your element does not have a lot of stackable defense down, something like light, right? Light doesn't light doesn't have a lot of stackable attack and defense down right now. So I guess lights it's okay. Um, wind has Urius. Water has 20 million characters. Fire has new character. When uh, I already said wind, right? Did I say water had Urius? I meant wind had Urius. Water has a million characters. Earth has hmm. Bal, I believe. And I think that's about it. That's like meta, right? So um Earth I guess also has the option as well. But it you do have Alex Dagger to give up, which it is kinda useful to run Alex Dagger. So I guess it depends on what you really want to do with that. And Dark has Tanya and other options like that. So it really depends if you really want to run Divinity. It really depends on the element, if you really like it or not. And then we have the last one, which I'm currently running, Devilry. So Devilry is really cool. It gives bonus damage upon getting level 10. Let's see if I can get to level 10 fast here. I don't know how fast I'll get it or not, but upon getting to level 10, you do, I believe, get 50% bonus damage, which is pretty cool. Um, it's not practical, though, because getting to level 10 does take quite a bit of time, unfortunately. So... It's nice to get to um, get that 50% bonus damage, but getting to level 10 is so hard, right? So it's, it's rather unpractical, I think, to think that you're gonna to get to level 10. Let's, let's, let's see if we can get to level 10 here, though. Uh, let's go with this, hit that. So I, normally I would have to skip this, but I, I do wanna show off how long it takes to build execution so th this is where humanity may be viable um just because if you take no damage you gain the execution level but you won't gain the bonus damage because you can't run humanity and delvery together so that's the problem oh i had it at level 10 right there so uh, you give up something to gain faster but you lose out on what this great bonus damage is right here you can see it so it's about 50 which is pretty good um but getting to level 10 though is the problem right that, that's the hard part so that's one thing that really mentioned about this class and then the last thing we're going to talk about here we have the support which is a nightmare gear this is just the uh, basic stuff here where you have eight options to put in your gear slots um i will be showcasing every gear at the end of the video if you want to see every gear i'll be having a nice little slideshow where i go through each gear and you guys can see all of them in action and the last and final thing sadistic aim boost to attack specs on execution level you may have noticed this though but i've been gaining quite a bit of damage upon leveling up my execution so you do gain attack charge attack damage charge attack chain burst and stuff like that upon getting execution level to a higher level um, unfortunately, there's no defense on this though, which I would have liked to get a little bit of defense because th this class is generally used for soloing. So the fact you don't gain defense is kind of lame, I think. I, I feel like that could have been a uh, make or break thing when it comes to soloing. That's about it when I think about this class. Tell me how you guys like it. Um, tell me what you guys think. And with that, I'm gonna go through a little slideshow of summing every, um, every what they're called <laughs> every what, what are these called bro i don't remember what they're called dude <laughs> every uh, secret gear <laughs> whoopsies but yeah thank you guys for watching if you guys like the video appreciate it uh till next time thank you guys for watching